question of what a concert master is, is asked of me very often because, uh, quite frankly, it's, it's, I don't know how the name got started here in America because in, in, uh, in Europe, certainly in England, they call you the leader. Uh, maybe it be, uh, this, this term, concert master, was a way to differentiate between a conductor and a principal player who actually is figurehead of the, uh, of the orchestra, representing the orchestra, which is why when the conductor comes on stage and shakes my hand, it's not that he likes me so much or respects me much more than others. I would hope maybe a little bit more, but uh, in any case, uh, I am basically representing the whole orchestra when he does that. Uh, what do we do as concert masters? We play all the solos that are written for, uh, for concert master for the solo violin. We uh, make sure that everything runs smoothly at a rehearsal between conductor and orchestra. If there's a problem, I have to sort of fix it in one of the four rehearsals that we are given before any given concert. Um, basically, we communicate amongst the other leaders of, of the uh, orchestra, other principals, uh, you know, visualize uh, across the, the, the great stage as we have so that we can all communicate and be on the same page musically, so to speak. Communicating with the other string section leaders is always, usually it's, it's verbal. Uh, if the conductor has something in his mind that he wants me to demonstrate, I'll have to do that. But we always are watching each other. I think it's, it's really this communication that keeps uh, everything together on such a, a vast stage. Plus, uh, added to this, uh, this challenge is the fact that the second violins are on the opposite side of the stage which is a European setup, and Alan Gilbert uh, does like this setup because of the antiphonal effect. However, communicating from one side of the stage when you have almost, uh, seems like uh, 75 feet between the back of the firsts and the back of the seconds can be daunting. So uh, you have to sometimes not listen, but watch. This communication between concertmaster and conductor happens on the fly, basically. Happens uh, as you're rehearsing. And uh, sometimes, basically, it's unspoken. It can be a look, it can be a gesture. Uh, and then other times, it's, it's up to him to try to, in words, describe what it is that he wants out of the string section, uh, be it an attack, the shortness of a note, uh, the, a pause between phrases. So it's, it's a very important position, and there's a lot of stress, of course, because uh, what you do is, is viewed by everybody and heard by everybody. But uh, it's, it's a very important position because of this closeness that conductor and, uh, you know, feeding through the musical ideas and uh, technical ideas through the concert master that, that basically filters down to the rest of the orchestra. So uh, that's what I do. I've been doing it for 30 years.